What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV. And coming up next, we head to sunny Tampa, Florida, as we tour Raymond James Stadium and Bucks Beach of the National Football League's Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You guys aren't going to want to miss this one. You got to stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell so you get notified every time we drop a new video. Okay, so we're leaving St. Pete Beach, as you've seen on the previous episode, and we're actually headed to Tampa, Florida. So we are driving through St. Petersburg, Florida, as you can see now as we left St. Pete Beach. And as you can see the landmark there, Tropicana Field, home to Major League Baseball's Tampa Bay Devil Rays. I did a video on that stadium as well i'll put the link in the description so we have to go across the bay all right we're going across tampa bay leaving st petersburg and we're going to tampa the city of tampa florida we are going to tour raymond james stadium home of the national football league's tampa bay buccaneers okay this is my team this is my team from ever since i was a teen when they switched to the pewter and red uniforms and uh, I think it was a 1997 season. Then they opened their brand new stadium, which you'll see here, Raymond James Stadium in 1998 with the famous pirate ship that shoots off cannons when they score touchdowns. It's a beautiful stadium and one of the most popular stadiums in the entire NFL. <laughs> So we arrive to the entrance of Raymond James Stadium, home of the Tampa Bay Bucks. As you can see, go Bucks and Bucks Beach. All right. And this is what it looks like inside the stadium when it is a packed house. As you see all that red, you see the pirate flag logo. And that is what made me fall in love with this team back in 1997. All right. So being a Buccaneers fan. For so long, when I was a teenager, I was a diehard sports fan. I was really into sports. Now, as an older man and a family man, I could care less really <laughs> about sports. It's out of my system. I have I'm way too occupied as a in my as being in my profession, raising my kids, spending time with family and my wife. I really don't have the time to watch sports like I did when I was a teen. All right, I watch as much as I can and try to keep up with the teams and you know watch the highlights or whatnot or try to catch a game here and there but i'm not die hard like i used to all right and i know the bucks won the super bowl i think 2020 and 2021 season it was 2021 during the whole thing that happened that took over the world and they had to play pretty much with empty crowds that year and they ended up getting tom brady okay so i'm not really a tom brady fan i rooted against him when he was on the patriots him and gronk and belichick and cheat gate and all that stuff so i could not root for the bucks when they had tom brady i know he retired now so i know i'm gonna piss a lot of bucks fans off all the diehards and the newer generation but i can root for the bucks again now that brady is gone <laughs> all right so now raymond james stadium a beautiful stadium right it, it makes you feel like you're in florida it has that pirate vibe because florida has a lot of pirate history but tony dungy 
back in 1997. The old Bucks, Warren Sapp, Derek Brooks, some of my favorite players. When Dungy turned that team around and built it from scratch, John Lynch, that's the Buccaneers that I grew up loving. Rondé Barber, Simeon Rice, Lynch, those are the guys Dungy brought in and built that team from scratch. Work done, Mike Allstott from, from the 90s all the way into the 2000s, Keyshawn Johnson as well, USC alum and great, and them winning the Super Bowl in 2003. So they built that team from scratch, added some free agents. Dungy unfortunately didn't get to win it with the team. He left the year before they won. And uh, that's what made me a Buccaneers fan was that 2003 team. The 2020 team, it was almost like cheat code. They brought in Antonio Brown, one of the best receivers in the league at the time. Gronkowski, one of the best tight ends. And then Brady, one of the best quarterbacks who I always rooted against when he was with the Patriots. I can't stand the New England Patriots. And then you add Fournette from the from the Jaguars and it was just cheat code. They won the Super Bowl automatically during a crazy year where everything was going on. So that Super Bowl to me really didn't mean anything. I, I was happy that the Bucks won and it was for the newer generation and the diehard fans, the diehard Bucks fans, and of course the Brady fans. So I'm not a Brady fan, nothing against you know him being on the Bucks or anything, but for me, I have to keep it true to myself, just like LeBron on the Lakers. I can't root for the Lakers with LeBron. I'm not a LeBron fan either so i don't root for the lakers and i'm a laker fan right because lebron's on there until he leaves i'll root for him again and watch him all right so but anyways i watched a lot of players growing up uh the jags i love the jags in the 90s keenan mccardle jimmy smith fred taylor of course and those uniforms okay <laughs> as a teenager i love the uniforms i rooted for barry sanders when he was with the lions and of course neon Dion sanders prime time himself with the dallas cowboys these are just uh, Junior Seau, of course, being from Southern California, one of my favorite players as well with the Chargers. Rod Woodson with the Steelers, I rooted for as well. Um, I just love football, love sports. Troy Polamalu, I rooted for the Steelers when he was there as well. And then Warren Sapp, of course, going from the Bucks to the Raiders and now me living in Arizona, I do root for Kyler Murray and the Cardinals as well. But the Bucks will always be my team. <laughs> automatically get those west central florida beach vibes right with the palm trees the lifeguard watchtower the tiki stands kind of like tiki bars um, like i said the white sand the flamingo you have the chairs out there to hang out and it's a photographer's dream right so beautiful stadium raymond james one of my favorite stadiums in all of the nfl especially inside with that pirate ship that shoots off those loud cannons when they score touchdowns beautiful stadium lots of history here and i think it starts with that team that tony dungy built 
from the mid 90s up until 2003 when he handed the keys up when the keys were handed over from the glazier family to john gruden that team was special and that's what made the buccaneers warren Sapp, Derek brooks john lynch ronde barber simeon rice booger mcfarland dexter jackson dwight smith joe jervicious right Keyshawn johnson brad johnson mike allstop work done michael pittman that team was special from those years tony dungy to john gruden those are the buccaneers that i remember and the buccaneers that i love in the pewter and red that's what makes this team special the pirate ship like i said with the cannons going off this stadium is special all right you guys i'm gonna check back with you guys in a little bit So all that open grass area right in front of the stadium, as you see lot one through three, this is where the parking is for Raymond James Stadium. So for WrestleMania events, for monster truck events or whatever concerts, whatever they have for the games, this is where the parking is and the tailgating goes down for the Bucks as well. OK, and really close here, we're going to be approaching the New York Yankees spring training facilities as well and to my left across the street is george m steinbrenner field uh the late owner who owned the new york yankees for a long time and now is passed on to his sons um, but i didn't get that shot but we will pass the spring training facility but as you can see there there's gronk there on the wall there up against raymond james stadium and uh as you can see this is a massive stadium right i didn't get a chance to go inside but i did share you guys some videos from their social media accounts so that way you guys could at least get a sneak peek but it's not like you guys haven't seen raymond james stadium but i'm sure there's some people who are who have not seen the stadium so i just wanted to show you guys driving around it's really close to tampa international airport as well literally right down the street and right here is where i said we will be passing the new york yankee spring training facilities i saw a new york yankee logo i think i saw a flag flying in it as well and i thought hmm let me see if i can get in here but no they had a security guy there you have to get clearance to get in so um, as you can see the Yankee logo there I said ah uh, let me reverse back in Arizona we can drive right into the spring training facilities and walk around and hang out all the time in Arizona all right so I'm not sure how it, it how it works in Florida but anyways guys this video is coming to an end I hope you enjoyed a little bit of uh, flashback from me giving you why I like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers all right you guys so like share subscribe i'll see you guys on the next one as we head to downtown tampa and we're going to have some more cubanos some cuban sandwiches as well i'll see you guys on the next one i'm out